What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to the brother Aram for the five dollar donation via the PayPal. All right, much respect to Aram for showing love to Too Raw for TV, aka Too Raw for Sports. And uh, Aram is a big time supporter of the golden age of basketball, which many of us consider shit. <laughs> Honestly, the 50s through the 1990s, all right? You could also say maybe the 80s and 90s, depending upon you, how you view it. But to me, the way they play basketball today is stinky, all right? But I watch it because there's a lot of nice players out there, but, you know, the game itself is just, I don't know. But anyway, I want to continue with this series, and... Just to do a brief recap at number five, I did the top five. Uh, at number five, I had the Grant Twins, Horace, and Harvey. At number four on this uh, list, I had the Wilkins brothers, Dominique Wilkins and Gerald Wilkins. At number three, it was the McGuire brothers, Al and Dick McGuire. So at number two, I have uh, two brothers that were once considered the greatest brother tandem in NBA history, Dick and Tom Van Arsdale, all right? Um, but now I have them at, at number two. Now, they were both born on February 22nd, 1943 in Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana. As a lot of us know, Indiana, especially during the mid to latter part portions of the 20th century, Indiana was a basketball state. I mean, basketball was second only to God in many people's uh, hierarchy when it comes to life, all right? Uh, they both were about 6'5". They both played the guard position, although I think Tom sometimes played small forward. But they're both about 6'5". They both were over 200 pounds. At that time, in the 60s and 70s, that was a pretty big guard. Um, they both played professional basketball from 1965 to 1977. They both were three-time All-Stars. Um, of the two, generally Dick is considered the slightly better player. Dick is considered the slightly better player. But I'm going to start with Tom. Now, Tom Van Arsdale, uh, like I said, went to Indiana. Uh, they both... Uh, went to Indiana as far as college is concerned. They played under coach Branch McCracken at the time. He was drafted in 1965 by the Detroit Pistons. He played three seasons there, and then he played five seasons with the Cincinnati Royals, who eventually became the Kansas City Omaha Kings. He then played one year with the Philadelphia 76ers, then played two years with Atlanta Hawks, and then finished off his career playing with his brother, with the Phoenix Suns. And this picture you see uh, on the uh, thumbnail, that's from both of their final seasons. Uh, uh, no, actually, no, it's not. I take that back. It's not from the final season. It's from around maybe 1970 or 71. I take that back. It wasn't from the final season. Uh, this is when he was playing with the Kings. Um, and this is uh, him playing against his brother, and uh, both of them had children. It was funny in this picture. Their children, who are infants right now, are probably men in their early 50s now. That's crazy. But anyway, uh, they finished off their career together in the same team, 1976-1977. Uh, Tom Van Arsdale was a three-time All-Star. He was on the All-Rookie team his rookie year. He had career averages of 15.3 points, 4.2 rebounds, 2.2 assists. He shot 43% from the floor for his career and 76% from the foul line. However, during Tom Van Arsdale's peak from 1968 to 75, he averaged 19.5 points per game, 5 rebounds, 2.4 assists, 1 steal, shot 44% from the floor during that time period, and 77% from the foul line. Um, Tom, Van, Tom Van Arsdale 
<clears throat> holds a record, a dubious record, and that is he holds the record for most career games played without a playoff appearance. He played in 929 games without making a single playoff appearance. He's also the all-time high scorer, 14,234 points in NBA history without a playoff appearance. And that's through no fault of his own. It's just bad timing. Um, he was drafted by the Pistons when they sucked. He went to the Kansas City Kings right around the time that they were becoming a terrible team, which is what led to Oscar Robertson fighting to get out of that organization, uh, taking the NBA to the Supreme Court so that players had more free agency rights. And that's when he went to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, then he played for the Kings, Van Arsdale. They sucked at the time. Then he played for the Sixers. They were horrible at the time. This is one year removed from the year when they were went they went nine and seventy uh, three. Then he played for the Hawks. They were bad at the time. And then he went to Phoenix the year after. They were in the NBA Finals, but they were not really really good that year. So he unfortunately he just. Had a lot of bad timing. Now, as far as his brother is concerned, Dick Van Arsdale, six foot five, two hundred ten pound guard, also went to Indiana. Uh, he was drafted in nineteen sixty five by the New York Knicks, but he was acquired by the Phoenix Suns in the expansion draft in nineteen sixty eight. So he is affectionately remembered and recalled as the first son. He was the first son player ever drafted. Uh, so he's the first player ever to play for the Phoenix Suns, to have their, their his rights, their rights uh, to the Phoenix Suns. Three-time All-Star. He appeared in the finals in 1976. Um, he was on the NBA All-Defensive Team in 1974, the 1965-66 All-Rookie Team. His number five is retired by the Phoenix Suns. He had career averages of 16.4 points, 4.1 rebounds, 3.3 assists. He shot 46% from the floor and 79% from the free throw line. So he was a little bit better shooter than his brother Tom. His peak years were between 1968 and 74 when he averaged 20 points per game, 4.2 rebounds, 4.1 assists, and 1.2 steals, 47% shooting from the floor and 81% from the foul line. So at their best, around the early 1970s, they both were all-star level players in the league that happened to be um, twins. So at number two on the list, I have Tom and Dick Van Arsdale. All right, so tell me what you guys think about this. <laughs> 